Hi. Oh, the lights are changing. That's exciting. Um, I hope you're all doing well. It's lovely to have you all here. Uh, this is a story, storytelling um, segment about songwriting. So it's the stories behind the songs. So there will be, the way that I'm running it, um, there will be time for Q&A at the very end. Um, but basically, I'm going to talk about my songwriting process and some of the notes. I have my journal up here, and I'll be talking through some of the notes and changes that I made to songs and how they sounded before the changes and how they sounded after. Um, so you get a behind the scenes of all that, and you get to have a listen to a bunch of stuff that I haven't released yet, which is really cool. So you're all very privy to some very special stuff because this is technically my diary. So please enjoy me sharing my diary with you all. It's very cringy at times, but we embrace the cringe. Speaking of cringe, I wrote this song when I was like 21. So it's right up there in the cringy. Um, this song is about falling in love with people that you know are gonna like, you're gonna hurt each other. It's, it's about young love, I suppose. So, pretty, pretty standard stuff. It's, um, yeah, it's called Runaway. It's, it's one that's out and you guys can listen to. Hello. chords, keeping you on your toes. So here we are back again, doing our best to be just Thank you. Thank you all so much. Um, the reason I really like, I suppose, a lot of us 
are really big music lovers as well as gamers and enjoy as well as like reading and all that kind of thing. I think we're all enjoyers, I'm going to speak for all of us, of, of storytelling. We love, we love going on an adventure or escaping our own reality um, or finding, I guess, something that relates to us through, through storytelling. And I think storytelling is really important. Well, it is for me, but yeah. And so I think songwriting for me is an expression of all the hard stuff in life and all the things that I wasn't ready to process, I suppose, in a way. I'm a very bubbly person um, and I have a really hard time with feeling sad. I don't like people to know I'm feeling sad, so I guess I have a hard time like getting through sad times in my life. Um, and the way I get through them is through music. So a lot of the time, a lot of my music is quite sad, but that's just because I use it as a coping mechanism, I suppose. Oh, see, this is so cringe. Why are we sharing my diary like this in front of you all? Yay, I'm so glad I did this. Um, this next song is, is called Ghost. Um, it does have, some of my music does have trigger warnings. Um, uh, following some uh, sexual assault, unfortunately, um, that I have survived and gotten through. Um, <laughs> thank you. And songwriting got me through a lot of that and all my lovely friends helped me get faith back in humanity, but I spent a really long time away from the world and being scared of the world. And without the friendships that I have currently made with a lot of people that are in this room, I would probably still be quite scared of the world and hiding in my room writing songs. Now look at me falling off my chair. <laughs> it's so fabulous. Um, this one's called Ghost and it's about knowing that I'm doing better than the people that hurt me and knowing that with social media and things like that, they can see it and it, it it's definitely going to get to them. Like, it's like, haha, suck it. <laughs> Hold the night when you try to get some sleep. 
Thank you. You guys are so like, attentive. Thank you. Um, how good is water? It's great. Ew, don't ill me. What are you drinking, Des? Are you drinking any water? Not water. That's what I thought. I mean, stranger in the crowd that I've never met. Thank you for making me spit out my water on stage. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Remember or regret? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, this next song, unfortunately, follows a um, similar incident. I promise there'll be nicer stuff later. We're just going to get all the gross stuff out of the way first. Um, apologies. <laughs> a lot of notes on this one so that's actually written in my journal I don't know if you can see oh you can it's written in my journal twice once like quite messily <laughs> quite messily and then once like really neatly because um, I the first time I was like angry writing and then I was like I can't read any of that <laughs> I can't read my own handwriting so then I wrote it like really ne neatly um, and that happens a lot in this journal there's like times where it's written like really rushed and then times, oh, there's things falling out of my journal and then there's times where it's like quite neat. Yeah, this one, this one's called A Walk Home um, and it's, yeah, it's, it, it speaks for itself. Um,
Thank you. <laughs> all right, they're, they're all the, I'll do a nice one now, so it's not so like depressing. Gosh, who invited me? What a sad sack. <laughs> no, um, who here, put your hand up if you have Tinder. Come on. Or have had Tinder, I should say. If you have or have had or have used somebody else's Tinder or any of the things. Yeah, yeah. Or Grinder or like any of the things. Um, because this ne next song I wrote after <laughs> having, you know, girls night and drinking a lot of wine with my friends. And we went on each other's Tinders and we were like swiping through as you do, and on other people's dating profiles, you choose for them. You choose for your friends, always. Um, and this song is just a little bit of a jest because we enjoyed a uh, hot tip for, for any guys out there. We swiped right on every guy that had a dog. Um, <laughs> if there was a dog in the profile picture, we, we swiped right because, yeah. And so this, oh, I'm trying to find the, the notes that, yeah, this one I had a lot of fun writing. There's a little bit of spoken word in the middle, so just warning you, because this has happened like a couple of times before where I've played it live, and I go into the spoken word, and because I'm talking, people start clapping. So just, just be mindful that I'll like put my hand up when I'm finished playing the song, so you know that it's over. <laughs> you swipe right for me cause I know I could use some love swipe right for me I'm smiling through your phone I drink from the bottle it helps me face my fears I drink from the bottle you dry up all my tears and could you swipe right for me even though I've been hurt before swipe right for me I want you my fall for I finish the bottle so I need Don't keep me waiting, make sure you swipe right. Hi. Oh, hey. How's it going? Oh yeah, pretty good. I've got a really masculine voice for this, don't worry. Crazy weather we've been happening. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy weather. So, like, you want to, like, um, you know, fuck? No? Oh. Swipe right for me. Because <laughs> we all just want to be loved. Swipe. 
if I wanted a seat and you guys all know what cons are like and I was like yes I love sitting down but now I want to stand up because I'm annoying okay um this next song is really weird because my audience changed from being very Australian to very American during COVID and lockdowns because I started streaming on Twitch um, and I was really random and decided to stream in the middle of the day because I was like, well, well, I'm not working. So I got like a very American audience. But this next song is about like winter feeling like it goes forever. Yay for Leninas. Um, so it's called Never Ending July and it's about having seasonal depression when it rains for like three years. Um, <laughs> so, oh, oh, I'm breaking everything. It's just... It wasn't me. Um, I think it's this one that I need to tighten. <gasps> it is that one. I am a tech genius. The whispering helps. If you don't alarm the microphone stand, it won't move. You just got to be really quiet. <laughs> got really confused because it's called Never Ending July and July for them is like the middle of summer. So they were like, what do you mean it's a never ending winter? <laughs> it's the middle of summer. So yeah, this one's for Australians and Southern Hemisphere only. i 
I, I forgot to mention, when I was writing that song, the lyrics actually changed while I was recording it. So I, as I was recording things, I tend to send them around to family and friends to be like, hey, what do you think of this? Like, during the mixing process. And uh, that line in the outro, the dancing with the demons, demons in my mind, and then there's the second line, which is, I wrestle with the demons. Um, is simply because <laughs> I caught a, a family member singing the wrong words around the house, and I was like, hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to use that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wrong lyrics, but you don't need to know that. <laughs> um, I'm swapping to my ukulele. Yeah. We, we briefly spoke about Twitch. streaming and how much fun streaming is and I know a lot of you are either on Twitch or streamers yourself um, and this next song was actually, I'm moving this, I know I'm so annoying, um, was actually written, no I don't want to move it, I've changed my mind, I just want to move my guitar. Um, this one was written about how much fun I have streaming. Uh, I know. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I don't know why I say things. I'm really nervous. Have you ever read your diary to a group of people? <laughs> Just wondering. Anyone like, uh, anyone got their diary that they want me to read out in front of you all? The, the, every night? Amazing. Oh my goodness, there it is, there it is. This one's really cute because, can I, can I get, it? yeah. Look at this magic, thank you tech team. Look at that little Twitch icon drawing I drew. <laughs> I'm such an artist. Yeah, yeah, because it made sense at the time. This, song, this song's about the friends I made on Twitch um, and how it became a little escape from feeling very lonely and scared. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ducky and I like to sing songs. We celebrate the weird and the queer and the ones 
we think don't belong and if you wanted to hang out with me I'd say okay let's play some games make sure you're feeling comfy let's sing a song in the rain and talk about your favorite anime so grab a cup of tea songs and play my games to numb the pain of yesterday. Yesterday. Ay, ay. Now, in the recording of this song is someone whistling the tune. But I can't whistle. So you're just going to have to pretend that someone's like whistling and it, it would it would sound like kind of like this. It'd be like a bum bum ba dum ba dum bum bum ba da bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum. Very good whistling from me, I know. Bum. Yeah, so that's, that's clearly just me being like, I love streaming so much. Because um, I do. It's really fun. <laughs> um, this next one, I actually wrote, shout out to my fiancé. <laughs> yeah, because I wrote it about him. I didn't know he was going to be my fiancé when I was writing it. Well, I kind of knew, but he hadn't asked yet. Um, <laughs> but this, this song is, is about us, and it's uh, also about my dog. Because I couldn't write a love song without including my dog, because I love her. Her name's Kelly, by the way. She's a Kelpie, and she's adorable. Um, and this song actually debuted on The To Bright Show. Had its debut on The To Bright Show. Thank you. Thank you, Bri. I love that show. If you were at the panel earlier that, that Bri just hosted, and he was like, and we had special guests on The To Bright Show, and I was the crazy person that was like, yeah! <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Because I was like, I was a guest. Me. <laughs> um, yeah. How do I play this again? So I just want you to picture, had a really hard day at work. Maybe some customers yelled at you. It wasn't very fun. Maybe it rained. Maybe you spilled your coffee on your shirt. But you're going home to a nice cozy house. You're going to put on fresh pyjamas and the sheets are fresh. You're going to get in bed with a good book or a video game. And you're just going to snuggle up with the people you love most. That's what this song's about. She greets me with a wet nose and a wagon tail And I know that I can't fail Finally home, finally home Finally home, finally home 
Thank you. Best audience ever. Also, how cute that this song's like, finally home. And it packs is like, welcome home. Did anyone else get excited? I got excited. I was like, it's fate. Um, this, one's, this one's a throwback. So I'm currently 27. I know I'm old. Um, and this one's called 23, which is really cool because it's a song that was written before like COVID and lockdown. And I was like, oh, I'm so sad about the world. But little did I know, <laughs> it was going to get a whole lot worse. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Yeah, it's like, oh, no. Um, there it is. So it's, it's called 23. And it's about that time, 23, where your friends, like, start graduating uni and they're, like, got to find work or, like, actually decide to, like, get their shit together and stop going out every weekend or not in some cases, um, me, um, <laughs> and learning that being an adult is really hard and I thought it would be easier by now kind of thing. Um, joke on me, it, I'm 27 and it's still really hard. <laughs> um, so yeah, this song is about struggling to adult. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
I've got one more on the ukulele and then I'll go back to guitar. Um, how am I doing for time? I'm doing great. We're on track. Yay. Um, this, this next one is um, also about Twitch. Yay. Um, but it's, it's more from the viewpoint of the viewer. Well, from my viewpoint as a viewer and just being like, hi, can I be your friend? Um, and just trying to make friends, which can be, no, I touched it. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. It's really not going to do anything. There we go. And um, about trying to make, make friends. And yeah, making friends as an adult is hard. And that's something people don't tell you. <laughs> They're always like, being a kid's easy, make friends. Being an adult, you just like have a drink and make friends, but mm, it's not always that easy. Especially when the world goes in lockdown and you can't go out anymore. Fun fact about that song, um, I wrote it while I was sitting in certain streamers' streams because I always have like more than one tab open. Um, and all of those streamers are in this room today. Long story short, we did become friends. <laughs> did you say let's go Wi-Fi? <laughs> Just shouting out Wi-Fi, like, yeah, give it up for the Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, it went away. We were friends. Bring it back. It's gone forever. You scared it. You guys ever try to make friends with Wi-Fi and it doesn't want to be your friend? Leads me to my to my next song, which is called Be My Friend. No, thank you. I'm so good at this. Fun fact about this song. This was the first song I ever wrote. Um, and it started the journey on songwriting. I wrote it when I finished high school.
share. <laughs> I'm like, I got friends now, don't worry, guys. Thank you, thank you. When the days are long and the nights are guys are so sweet, so sweet. I think I can squeeze in two more songs that I had prepared. Um, and then make sure you grab a sticker if you haven't already. The stickers and thank you cards to everyone who came today. There's also little business cards in my guitar case just here. Um, help yourself um, at any time. But if you want to do it when I'm not like singing, you could, you could do it at the end.
Um, but you can come up while I'm singing. I wouldn't mind. Um, one of the songs I wanted to share with you all is one that I wrote just a couple of weeks ago. Um, I wrote this. I love this so much. This is my favorite party trick. Yes. You are so good at that. 10 out of 10. I wrote this song um, a couple of weeks ago, so it's still a work in progress. And this is the first time I've ever played it for anyone. So congratulations. <laughs> Please feel special because you are. I still need notes to look at, though. If you can think of a good title for this song, feel free to like message me on Instagram. At the moment I have Hard to Love, but that's kind of a, I don't love it. I'm not into it. So if you think of a good title for this song, please message me. Um, I will pay you in love. And lots of smiles. And maybe a hug. Hugs are pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot that I was going to do a QA and a and sang an extra song because I'm an idiot and I forgot that I was going to do a QA. and a um, Did anyone have any questions? Yes. Yell really loud. Pardon? Why are you so amazing? Um, anyone got an Uno reverse card? Boom. Right there. Mm. Um, why are you all so amazing? Thank you everyone for being here for this. Can I sneak one more song in? Is that a yes? I can't see. Yes! Woo! 
What a win. I love it. I was so nervous before. I was like, I'm going to throw up. Now I'm up here. I'm like, yeah, one more. <laughs> Got to love the adrenaline. Um, this song's really special because one of my best friends asked me to sing it at their wedding. That's it. That's all I have. <laughs> no, no more. But I am recording new stuff, so make sure you follow me on Spotify and YouTube and TikTok and Twitch because I'll be posting all about it on those things um, and Apple Music or whatever you stream your music on. Um, I'll be around if you want to come say hi or talk to me. I'm, I'm here all three days. So if you see me, I'm always down for a chat. I love talking. Um, thank you.